In order to succeed with your online business, you're going to have to forget everything you learned in school. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up? It's Matt McWilliams here, and my wife and I have spent the last few weeks uh, looking at different schools and uh, for our daughter, who's who's six now, and uh, like it's it's been a, a kind of a weird experience because one of the things that I have realized is that without going on some sort of a rant and getting on my soapbox is just how broken the modern education system is. You know, I've heard. Uh, I think it's uh, Sir Ken Robinson talked about this, how, you know, the modern education system has just completely stripped away creativity and it's completely destroyed the, the elements that you actually need to succeed in the world. Go look at his Ted talk. It's got like a bajillion views. And I've heard Seth Godin talk about that. You know, our modern education system is built on this premise that you're going to follow a very linear path in life. You're either, you're going to go through school and either they're going to become a manager or you're going to be going to become a factory worker. And it's meant to train one of those two groups. And that's not the way our economy operates anymore. And so recently I was, I was having dinner with a group of people and we got to talking about this. And, and I realized that like, this process of looking at schools, this process of, uh, of, of exploring the education system, because, you know, currently we homeschool and we're, our daughter wants to go to school, but we're trying to make the right decisions here. There's basically two types of schooling. There's, there's two types, like this is kind of, well, this is what it felt like to me. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but number one is this, this cutthroat individualism. Like you ha- like your goal is to be top of the class. In, in other words, in order to win, others must lose. Now think about that. That's that cutthroat individualism. Like it's very competitive and I have no problem with competition. Like I grew up playing golf. I'm competitive now. Like I love competition, but I don't believe that in order for me to win, someone else has to lose. You know, like, I, in fact, there were a couple tournaments I won where I won because the other uh, the player who maybe was like ahead of me going into the final round or, you know, was right behind me faltered. Those are the least satisfying wins. You know, the most satisfying win I can ever remember was, uh, it was in 1996 and I was uh, going into my senior year of high school, uh, playing in a, in a junior golf tournament and went into the final day of the tournament I don't remember. I was like one or two shots ahead of this other guy. And I went out and birdied six of the first seven holes. Like, I mean, just like it was outstanding. I think I was leading by two. I birdied six of the first seven holes. And you know what? My lead only increased by one. He birdied five of the first seven. And then he birdied eight and nine. So those of you who know golf, that's one part. He birdied eight and nine. Like he shot 29 on the front nine. That's... That very rarely happens. I shot 30 and I lost a shot to him. That was one of my most memorable victories. Now we both kind of didn't do so great on the back nine, but we like, we were going at it. That's what I remember. That's the victory I remember. And, and it brings me the most satisfaction was like went toe to toe with each other. And he didn't have to, he didn't lose. I just got the better of him that day. So this cutthroat individualism is the one side that, you know, you, you have to be the top, you have to be the best and you have to do it yourself. The second version of that I've seen is like, everybody's a winner and everybody gets a trophy and, you know, like there's no competition. And the thing is, neither of those is valid in the online business world. You know, on that cutthroat side, we're, we're taught to do it ourselves, we're taught to do it ourselves. We're taught, we always have to, you know, what, what, like, who do we commend in school? It's the, it's the kid that when the teacher asks the question, they go, ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. And they have the answer to the question. They always have to have the answer to the question. So that's what I learned was I always had to have the answer to the question. And so in meetings, when I, when I first became a leader, I, I was taught, like, I had to be the one with the answers. And you know what that did? It trained my team that when there's a question, we go to Matt. When there's a we always go to Matt. And they didn't learn to think for themselves. And I finally learned that, at least for purposes of meetings, I had to be the dumbest guy in the room. 
I had to ask the dumb questions. I had to play dumb. And when I knew the answers, I had to keep my mouth shut. And it was hard at first, but I had to just bite my tongue. And then I learned I kind of like this because my team stopped bugging me all day. And I was still their leader. And I was still there if they really needed me. But they learned to make simple decisions for themselves. So we're taught to do it ourselves. We're, 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 we raise the hand. We know the answer. We get the prize. That's not how the world works. Here's some fun facts for you. You may have not have known or you may have. 35% of entrepreneurs have some form of dyslexia. That is 350% more likely or more prevalent than the general population. Three and a half times more likely. Well, why? Because dyslexia was a challenge for them. And they became very proficient at getting others to help. They learned how to delegate. They learned how to trust. They learned you don't have to do it on your own. It wasn't cutthroat. It wasn't in order for you to win, I have to lose. In order for me to win, you have to lose. It was how can we do this together? How can we do this together? The other thing we're taught in school is we're taught to fix our weaknesses. We're taught not to operate in our strengths. How ridiculous is that? Like, think about it. Your child comes home with six A's and one F. What do you do? You focus on the F, don't you? Maybe that's just not their thing, though. We want to have this well-rounded student, a jack of all trade. And you know what? You know, I'm that, like just going to be like blunt here. You know what happens to jacks? Jacks of all trades. They grow up to be middle managers. They grow up to make eighty thousand dollars a year in a nice, secure, safe, secure job. But that's not you. You didn't sign up for this online business thing. You didn't sign up to be an entrepreneur, to be a jack of all trades. You signed up to be a master of one, a master of something. Because you're the best in the world at one thing. You know, it took me a while to figure that out. I didn't want to be a master of everything. I didn't want to be a jack of all trades. Like I was going to be the best in the world at what I do. This one thing affiliate marketing training, affiliate management training. They're all kind of under that same umbrella, affiliate stuff. I was going to be the affiliate guy. And by gosh, there was not going to be a single person on the face of the earth that could even like that. He could even compete with me. But in order to do that, I was going to need help and I was going to need a team of my own. And I was going to need friends. I was going to need even my competition to, to help me to be supportive of me. And for us to uh, have some co opetition if you will. So whatever like mentally is holding you back, whatever it is up here that's holding you back, those lessons you learned in school, I want you to forget them. Those negative lessons. This isn't about school. This isn't about your teachers. I think they're well-intentioned. They're just misled. This isn't about them. This is about you. So forget everything you learned in school and you can be successful with your online business. So that's my rant for today, if you will. Uh, Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, wherever you're listening, leave a comment, rating and review, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You know how to do it. I don't need to tell you how to do it. So you know how to do it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.